Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to write a linear function given a table or a situation. So first off, let's review how to write a linear function in slope-intercept form. So that slope-intercept form is going to be y equals mx plus b, where m represents your slope, in other words, that rise over run, and b represents your y-intercept, or otherwise your starting value. All right, so with our two tables, we want to identify our slope as well as our starting value. So to find the slope of a table, we are going to look at how we can get from one point to the next on both the x and y coordinates. So let's just start from our very first point. So on the x, otherwise known as our run, to get from negative 1 to 0, we are going to add 1. Now on the y side, to get from negative 4 to negative 1, we are going to add 3. And something to keep in mind is our slope is our rise over run, which is also known as the change in the y values over the change in the x values. So our change in the y value here was this positive 3, since that's on the y side. Our change in the x is going to be a 1, so we have 3 divided by 1, which is a 3. So our slope, or our m for this value, is going to equal 3. Now we need to find our b value, or our starting point. We always start at zero. So when x is zero, that is going to be our starting point. So we are going to look on our table, find where x is zero, which is right here, the second entry in our table. So our b value is going to equal negative one. So when x is zero, y is negative one, that is going to be our b value. Now all we have to do is plug our m and our b into our slope intercept equation above. So we have y equals m, which is our 3, so 3 times x, and then our b value is negative 1, so we have minus 1. So our equation for this table is going to be y equals 3x minus 1. All right, we're going to do the same thing for our next table. So the first thing we want to identify is our slope. So once again, our slope is going to be that change in the y values over the change in the x values. So if we look at the y values, we're going from 3 to 6. So we are adding 3. So the change in the y values is going to be a positive 3. And then if we look at the change in the x values, and we want to make sure we're using the same x values that paired with those y values, to go from negative 2 to 0, we're adding 2. So we have 3 over 2 for our slope. So our m value is going to be equal to 3 halves, 3 over 2. All right, now to find our b value, we're going to look for the starting value of our graph, or when x equals 0. So we can look, when x equals 0, y equals 6, which means our starting value, or our y-intercept, is going to be 6. So to write this equation, we're just going to plug in 3 halves and 6 into our m and b values. So we're going to get y equals 3 halves x, don't forget that x, that's really important, plus 6. So there we have our slope and intercept form of our equation given a table. All right, now we're gonna look at some word problems. So how can we write an equation given a word problem? The first thing we wanna do again is find our slope or our growth. So what is going to be consistently growing here? And then our starting value. And so for our M, we're going to be looking at anything that is 
continually growing. So in this first problem, we have Susie rents rollerblades to kids over the summer. She charges $4 per hour plus an initial rental fee of $3. Write an equation that models this situation. So we have two numbers here. We have this 4 and the 3. And we need to identify which one is going to be our growth, which one's going to be that slope, and which one's going to be the starting value or the y-intercept. So if we look at $4 per hour and then an initial fee of $3, $4 is the one that's going to keep growing because we're charging $4 every single hour. So because $4 is going to keep growing, our M value will be four. The initial value, an initial is another word for start. So the start value is a rental fee of $3. That is a one-time fee that's where we start, that's kind of the base price, so our B value is going to equal three. From this, we can write our equation in slope-intercept form, so y equals mx plus b, and all we have to do is replace m with four and replace b with three. So we get our final equation of y equals four x plus three. All right, we can do the same model for the very next problem. So Gary babysits on weekends. He charges an initial fee of $10, then an, initial, an additional $20 per hour. We want to write an equation to model this situation. So once again, we want to figure out what our M values and our B values are for this. So M is going to be our growth. So which number out of 10 and 20 represents that constant growth? So we have an initial fee of $10, so that's a one-time fee, and then an additional $20 every hour. So since we charge $20 every single hour, we're going to keep growing up by $20. So 20 is going to be our M value. The initial fee or in other words, the starting fee is that one-time fee that's going to represent our starting value and otherwise our y-intercept. So our b value is going to be 10. And then like we did above, we can replace m with 20 and b with 10 in our equation to get y equals 20x plus 10. And something to note, it's really important to have this x and the y here to represent our inputs and outputs as variables for our equation to make it a function. Um, so we're really making sure that we have every single part of this equation when writing equations from tables as well as situations.